In this next tutorial, we're going to look at how to use um, layers and, and looking at the basic use of layers within, within InDesign. So I've got my previous picture that I was working on before here and over I've got my layers dialog box and that shows that this picture is currently in layer one. Now if you look at layer one here, I've got an eye and that's the visibility. So if I click on that, it will disappear. If I click back on it, it will reappear. And then the next checkbox is if I want to lock my layer. So if I lock it, a little padlock comes up there and basically my cursor will turn to that I can't do anything with that layer. But I don't want to lock it, so I'm going to unlock it. I want to create a, a picture that will go over the top of this layer. Now to do that, I could have created another layer. The layers themselves are sequential. Uh, they're like a patchwork quilt that you'll, you'll put the, the background layer, then you'll add the next layer on top of that. So I come down to the bottom here and on this button down the bottom is to create a new layer. So I click on that and automatically my new layer appears. Okay. Uh, now to actually work with that layer, I actually have to click on it so that the layer um, within InDesign know that I'm working with that layer. So I want to add a picture over the top of that. So I make sure layer two is selected. I draw my frame. And as you'll notice, the frame, the outline of it is actually in red. Now for layer one, that is in blue. So each of the colors, they also help you to, to recognize what layer you're working with. So I want to put a picture in there. So I'll place, select my picture this picture of this fish and I will fit the content to the frame okay so I've got this fish that I've worked with before so as I place it it you can see that it's on top of the other layer now one of the things that I want to do with this is I want to add a clipping path I don't want that white around my picture I might increase my threshold and there we go so my image now, as you can see, is transparent. I make sure that I click on my other toolbar. Okay, so I can move my image now. Now one of the things that I want to do is to, or, or one of the things that I can do is I can change the opacity of this image. I can reduce it so I can see a bit more of the background. So I probably want the opacity about 90% so it doesn't stand out as much. But I want the outline of this image to, to stand up. So I'm going to add an effect onto this image. I'm going to add an outer glow. So I get my this effects toolbox is going to appear. And I want to change firstly the size of my outer glow to about a 7. And I want to change the spread of the outer glow to maybe about 33%. So it looks like that the full, oh, let's go a bit more, about 50. So it looks like the fish is jumping out of the water. Okay, so that's the, the, the first way of which of using layers where I've got my, my picture which is, is on, the, on the top of the, the previous picture.